Humility is necessary in order to acquire wisdom. When pride comes, then comes dishonor. But with the humble is wisdom, Proverbs 11 and verse 2. As wisdom comes from instruction and understanding, we must be humble enough to admit our own lack of wisdom and the need to pursue it. Without humility, we will not believe that we need wisdom and will therefore ignore it. Solomon stated in Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 7 to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. When we possess humility, we will understand that there are answers that we do not have and guidance that we need in order to obtain the answers to those questions. Therefore, we do not need to lean upon our own understanding or be wise in our own eyes. We will seek guidance and be open to instruction. However, it's important that we get the right guidance. So Solomon says that we must put our trust in the Lord. Now many today put their trust in their parents or in professors or preachers to lead them in the paths of wisdom. And while we may certainly be helped by the instruction of others, it is only when such instruction is in harmony with the wisdom that comes from above that it will do us any good. Therefore, our trust is not in others who might teach us, but it is in the Lord. Because remember, the fear of the Lord is the instruction for wisdom. And before honor comes humility, Proverbs 15, verse 33. Elsewhere, Solomon writes, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the second part of this verse tells us that humility is a precursor for honor. Earlier, this wise man says the wise will inherit honor. Honor is one of the rewards of wisdom. And the fact that humility comes before honor tells us that humility is necessary in order to acquire wisdom. He who conceals his transgression will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion, Proverbs 28 and verse 13. Friends, confession of wrongdoing is an act of humility. In order to confess, one must be humble enough to acknowledge his sin and admit it to others. But one who tries to hide his sin demonstrates a lack of humility that will keep him in his sin and on the path of wickedness. Now one with the humility to confess and forsake his sin will find himself on the path that leads to wisdom. Proverbs 30, beginning in verse 2, says, Surely I am more stupid than any man, and I do not have the understanding of a man. Neither have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One, who has ascended into heaven and descended, who has gathered the wind in his fists, who has wrapped the waters in his garment, who has established all the ends of the earth, what is his name or his son's name? Surely you know. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. This is the beginning of the words of Agur as we see in Proverbs 30 and verse 1. He starts with a bit of hyperbole saying that he is more stupid than any man. His point is that he was humble and not trusting in himself for wisdom or understanding. He then acknowledges the greatness of God in creating and sustaining the earth. Because there was no one greater than God, he put his trust in him and in his word. Even though he considered himself more stupid than any man, he was not going to be content in putting his trust in another man who was wiser and more knowledgeable than he was. Only God's words are tested and are able to protect us from the perils of wickedness. Therefore, we must take refuge in him. Friends, it is only the one who lowers the estimation of himself and places his trust wholly in God who will truly find wisdom and the blessings that come from being wise in the ways of our Heavenly Father. Friends, we pray that this is what you are seeking after today. To be wise, not in your own eyes and in your own conceit, but to be wise in the eyes of God. Humble yourself. Seek after the knowledge that comes from above. Apply that to your life, and you will be wise. 
Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.